All right, we want you to be weather aware on Friday because we've got some big changes to talk about, don't we? That's exactly yeah. right. You know, Angela's been preparing us all week for a big weather change. And that weather change includes rain to kick off our Friday and then severe threat tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Yeah. So definitely one of the, those days you're going to want to check back with us. This is a large storm system that will be Ooh, responsible yeah. for potential severe weather outbreak that includes parts of the Midwest, south into western sections of Tennessee, into portions of Arkansas and Louisiana on the cold side. They're forecasting a lot of snow across parts of Minnesota into northern Wisconsin. Uh, obviously, the greatest risk for severe storms are where we think these will initially develop across parts of Iowa, Illinois, and southeastern Missouri, but all of Indiana at a two or a three on our scale of one to five. What this means, all modes of severe weather in play for tomorrow. Can't rule out tornadoes and large hail high impact from high winds, damaging winds, and some pockets of very heavy rain. Definitely a day to check back with us. We do have a big view of live Doppler 13 radar. The initial burst of rain starting to arrive. Mentioned the snow across parts of Wisconsin, Minnesota, back through the Dakotas. They're under winter storm and blizzard warnings thanks to this powerful storm system. Across the western sections of our state, leading edge of the rain has arrived. We've got rain and a few rumbles of thunder across the central sections of Illinois. Want to give you a close up view on live Doppler 13 radar, showing a little bit of rain from Lafayette to Crawfordsville. This will move east toward Frankfurt, uh, eventually into Kokomo. We've got the rain and a couple of thunderstorms now in the eastern sections of Illinois. So for us locally, rain, a few rumbles of thunder. You're going to set the alarm clock early. Check in with Chuck. That's 4 a.m. As sunrise begins, we're going to be tracking some rain for the morning drive. Do think we get a bit of a break midday early afternoon before we start to see some additional thunderstorms start to develop. All eyes on that initiation point where these storms originate across parts of Illinois and Iowa. They start to move our way tomorrow night. That's Friday at 8 p.m. This is when we're expecting that severe threat late afternoon all the way through this time tomorrow. This weather system will then clear the state by early Saturday morning. Saturday, we're still going to feel the impact. Gusty winds, sustained winds, 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts over 50 and dropping temperatures into the 40s. Very active 24 hours for us. Check back with us tomorrow. We'll be monitoring the rain and storms hour by hour for you and keep you updated on any watches and warnings. Colder, windy day, 48 Saturday. We're back into sunshine, 58 Sunday.